I finally did it. After a year of owning my Miata, I finally bought a hardtop for this car. I don't know why hardtops are so hard to come by, but I did it. Miata's parked back here. Let's go check it out and check out this hardtop. It is red. It took a while to find a red hardtop. Just in the area I am, not too many people sell hardtops, and when they do come up for sale, they sell pretty fast. Most of the time in Wisconsin, a lot of them that do come for sale are either like $2,500, they're black, they're blue, they're not red. And there were a couple that were like $2,200, $2,000 that did come up, but they were on the Michigan side. And if you don't know, there's a lake in between here in Michigan. So it turns out to be like an eight hour drive to go down into Illinois and up to Michigan. And I just never did it because I was just waiting. But then last week I found a red hardtop about an hour away and I picked it up instantly. A little sneak peek at the hardtop. Sneak into the car here. If you guys did miss the last video on the Miata, I had a little bit of a rust repair done to it and the car interior is still completely apart. It's such an odd sensation sitting in here and then looking back and not having the top like right here and actually having so much more room. I'm not sure if I'm gonna delete my soft top in the car or not. I'm considering it, but also it's kind of convenient just to have. So I'm kind of on the fence about that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But I need to still find a roll bar if I do decide to keep the top. Find a roll bar that fits the soft top. Otherwise, I could always go with like a bikini top option if it does decide to rain and kind of just have like a cloth there just to ensure that it doesn't get totally in the car. Soft tops are just convenient that way where it's like, if it does start to rain, you can just roll it up and you have zero issues as long as the top doesn't leak. The thing with buying a perfect hard top is you're gonna end up spending $2,500 or so and it's gonna need to be repainted to match your car in most cases. My car's gonna need some paint up touch work and I'm gonna need to paint the hard top to match the car anyways. So it, I'm not really that bent over shape about it or anything like that. It does have a couple smaller like paint scuffs on the side here not a big deal i mean these things are what 30 years old in some cases i'm not sure exactly what year this hardtop is from obviously na and nb miatas all have the same hardtop so this could be an nb hardtop sure there's a way to find out but i have no idea right now but the car just looks phenomenal with a hardtop obviously right now it's still very kind of in a raw i want to say very stock form right the wheels still aren't on it the hardtop is probably going to be touched up. I'm probably going to do some type of touch up paint to this because at one point I am going to do a good amount of paint work to this car. But before all of that, I'm just going to track it and enjoy it. So I might just leave that. It is tinted 15% on the back. There is a defroster on this window and there is a little bit of a headliner inside as well. I'm not sure if that's the OEM headliner that's considered, but I'm pretty sure it is. We're probably going to do a some type of a Alcantara just to do a little bit more sound deadening like I have on the door cards right there. If you guys have seen that video of reading the door cards, I'm probably going to do just a little Alcantara like material on the top here just to kind of match it in a little bit quieter or whatnot. The car also handles significantly more stiff because all of it is together in one piece now. There's so much more just rigidity in the car just because of the hard top and I'm just excited. I'm pumped to finally have a piece I've been looking for for this car for quite some time. Given it's a very expensive piece to the car, you know, they go for about $2,000 and I paid near that, but I think it's definitely well worth it considering number one, I can always get the money out of it. Number two, it's just something that I can have and I can immediately do auto crosses with because I'm pretty sure as long as I have a hard top, I don't need to do a full roll cage or roll bar because of the top, right? So I think I can get away with not having that and actually getting to use the car. So it makes the usability there, but also I think it looks so much better with the hard top. In person, this car is completely changed. Like if I come over here, the car just looks phenomenal with that hard top. From this distance, you cannot tell that the hard top is a different color. And when I say different color, it's a slightly different color. My car, I'm pretty sure has been two-staged at some point with clear coat. The hard top obviously still has a single stage from what I assume is an NA Miata. But it looks incredible and I'm so pumped to actually have it. As far as latching points go, obviously they hook up in the back here. These are screws right here these unfold and you can adjust it but the miata has the frankenstein bolts on both the sides there and then it latches to the oem positions on the top where the soft top latches normally there and there but the hard top 
has an additional plate right here. My car doesn't have the uh, striker plates here to hook up the hardtop to. I have to buy those and I install them and I will install them at some point. They're not terribly expensive, but I just got the top. So it has six latching points total and a soft top only had two because it is physically connected to the car at the base. With that being said, let's go on a little ride. You guys won't be able to feel the difference, but there is a significant difference and there's gonna be a sound difference as well. I'm just super pumped to have this kind of missing piece to my car and slowly but surely this car is coming together. Wheels and tires should go on soon. And by soon, I mean hopefully by the end of this month. That might be pushing it a little bit, but by the middle of next month, I'm hoping to have the new tires on the wheels and the wheels on the car. Got a bunch of this white fluff kind of just flying around everywhere if you guys can see it. It's pretty much everywhere uh, in my neighborhood so that's a whole lot of fun because the trees decided to just yeah. It's a lot quieter in here with the hard top. Like with the soft top up there's a lot of noise but the hard top is very quiet and it, the car the car feels completely different. Just like throwing it around a little bit like you can feel that the car is like whole which makes sense because it is obviously it's still like a removable top and everything like that but the car just feels so much more like a coupe and i think i think it's a worthy investment honestly i'm very happy that i finally pulled the trigger on one of these not only does it look better but it actually provides function for me so i think it's a win-win in both situations and i'll be able to use the miata a little bit more on the things i want to do sooner I suppose, without having to drill holes into it for the time being. I haven't driven this car in a while, and I've been driving the BMW, or I drove the BMW yesterday, my Z3M, and I'm like, this car is missing power, and then I remember, no, it's not, it's just a Miata. But, let's get back home, because I did leave the garage open. There's also a ton of headroom in here. Obviously, my car kind of has the foam taken out of the seat, so I have an extra two or three inches of uh, headroom, but there is a ton of headroom in here, especially when I have bucket seats in the car and whatnot. There's de it's definitely not gonna be too tight, which was one thing that I was kind of worried about. Just to see how much headroom I actually have, like there's probably a solid five, six inches, maybe a little bit more than that above my head and the, and the top. There's more room in this than there is in a soft top. So if anyone was wondering that, the soft top kind of just comes like down a little bit to kind of meet straight with these points while the hard top kind of bulges up a little bit. Like you can see that it kind of just comes up and then back down. Well, anyways, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Just the hard top differences in what it feels like. Why you would want to purchase a hard top in the first place. And for those kind of wondering some mounting points, whatnot. It's kind of a little run through of everything. This car is going to get a little bit more work here in the near future. This next month or so, I'm planning to get most of the things that I want to get done to it in order to use it next month. You guys are going to have to stay tuned for those. Just a little hint as far as what we're doing is we are going to take it racing, whether it's autocrossing, actual track dates, whatever it is, that's the plan. So let's see what happens. That's all I have for this video. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, check out other Miata videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.